College Station, Texas tonight. And Kyle Field, home of the 12th man, where the number 16 Aggies of Texas A&M get ready for their final non-conference game before they start SEC play next week against Auburn. Pro-style offense with a measured pace for these Texas A&M Aggies. Out of the gun. Mond on first down is complete. Already into plus territory. Jamon Osmond, big game for the Aggies' leading receiver through the first two weeks. Gets it to the 23-yard line a week ago. You've got to get a touchdown there, Clay. So Seth Small comes on for the field goal attempt from 21 yards, and it's good. Quarterback with guys all over the place that don't normally look the same that they normally do. Mine complete. That is caught by Buckley. Cameron Buckley getting loose. Down to the 33-yard line. This Mont last year has to take on a bigger role now. He gets it, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. The Aggies' first of the night. Third down and nine for Lamar. Their only first down has come on a penalty. They're not going to get a first down here as Wanza catches that one in the flat. And AM rallies to the ball, led by Jeremiah Martin. Mond will start out of the gun on this series. Pressure off the edge and up the middle. Mond got it away. Man wide open. It's Jamon Osmond at the 30, inside the 25, and inside the 20. Finally tackled by Michael Lawson, but that's a gain of 36 on first down for Kellen Mond as he found Mond should have been caught. Osmond with another Texas A&M drop. Said it before, they had seven now a field goal attempts as another drive stalls out. And a 32-yarder goes through for Seth Small, his second three-pointer of the night and it's 13 to nothing to make the most of something and to make this team special Jordan Hoy and the Cardinals offense going back to work he hits Mason Sykes the tight end nice gain on first down that's going to be 16 yards Walker again big hole first down to the 10 yard line AJ Walker the senior from Pinson Alabama in duties last week and set up from 22 yards out. And it's blocked. Scooped up. Bobby Brown got his hand on it. And the Texas A&M special teams unit with a big play here to keep Lamar off the scoreboard. 25 yards. Instead of being at the 40 of Lamar, they're at their own 35. Spiller again. Big hole. Look up. Pushed out of bounds inside the 30-yard line by Lawson, who is by Lamar is showing blitz. They back off. Thrown to the outside for Buckley. He's got a first down, dives for the pylon. I'm going to say he stepped out at the four. Back there with Kagan Baldry, the fullback. It is Spiller, and they ran it home. On the ninth play of the drive, Texas A&M is able to find Pater. More like it. More like Which it. was. <laughs> not, not, not well. That was my takeaway. Second down at 10 in the flat. Spiller. Nice move after the catch. Great juke. And he high steps to the 44-yard line. Isaiah Spiller. That's a 16-yard reception. These running backs are going to be judged on as they audition here to replace Jay Sean Corbin. Caught by Kendrick Rogers, first down and much more inside the 25, down to the 23-yard line. Another catch for Rogers, 21 yards that time. Well, they really haven't taken many shots either, so it, I don't know if it's been asked of him yet either. And Mond will keep it himself this time. Designed run, and it's a touchdown. Kellen Mond with his second rushing touchdown of the year. work we need to do but it was special sharing it with my family and being able to do that with my young son I tell you what he he didn't mind being in front of you know a stadium drives full. that ended in field goals probably should have been touchdowns some drop passes some penalties Jimbo's 
I don't see Lamar scoring points. And they have to play the Auburn Tigers next week. But Still a good run. Like we talked about in that open of the second. Northwestern State. And 17-14 in the second quarter. Here's Kellen Mond taking a deep shot. He hasn't taken many tonight. And it's intercepted. Cameron Hayes picks it off. And he's going to bring it back to the 34-yard line. At what point did I feel like LSU was in danger, though? I felt like if that game would have gone on for four more hours, they would have always been up two scores. Mond, who was intercepted on his last pass, is complete this time. Great scramble. Got some time and then hit Jamon Osmond deep. Made the mistake. Jimbo goes right back to Kellen for a potential big play, and he connects. And now Isaiah Spiller running right up the middle. Will carry to the 34-yard line. Six plays of 20 yards or more, and you touched on it earlier, Ryan. Wanting to see more explosive plays starting to come their way. Spiller steps out of a tackle, and he's gone. Touchdown, Isaiah Spiller. Another explosive run. 34 yards and a touchdown, his second of the night. I think a lot of times when you talk about those explosive plays, you think it has to be in the passing game. But if you're capable of doing it with the running game, even better. He breaks the tackle here, the one-on-one -on -one here, breaks the tackle, and then he's off and running. Great job of the receivers downfield blocking. <laughs> Still hanging around. Yeah. Here's Miles Wanzu. Uh -oh. Big run for Miles Wanzu, the junior from Houston. Into the secondary. Had one man to beat and couldn't do it as Leon O'Neill, the true sophomore from Cypress, Texas, grow. Long enough. And right on the money. Bailey Giffen. Who missed? First down and 10. Here comes some pressure. Mond was hit. Got it away to Rodgers. It's another big play. And he gets to the 42-yard line before he's pushed out of David Crosley. Junior middle linebacker. First down. Kellen Mond complete. There's Anaya Smith inside the 25. Boy, making a good impression here in the second half of this game. Anaya Smith. This is A&M starting to see some of those explosive plays that they were yearning for first couple of weeks Smith again that should be a first down one of them a touchdown on wide open Osmond hangs on to that one touchdown Texas A&M and it's the first touchdown pass of the night for Kellen Mond is fifth of the year. But he's going to get maybe the entire fourth quarter. Chance to get a lot of work in. This is returnable for Rashad Paul. Midfield. To the 40. To the 30 of Lamar. And down at the 25-yard line. Big return for the junior from Bremen, Texas. And look at the throw on first down. How about that? Touchdown to Jalen Weidermeyer, his tight end. Boy, that was a nifty throw. Hadn't even worked up a sweat yet. Boy, I can see why Jimbo Fisher is happy that this guy is on his team. Not only him. Oh, but Weidermeyer as well. Weidermeyer, who caught his first career touchdown last week with six seconds left in that Clemson game, gets his second career touchdown on a dime thrown by Calzada from 25 yards away. Play action fake. He has to get pushed in the pocket a little bit. He had his eyes on him the whole way and absolutely puts a dime, like you said, on the fingertips of Weidermeyer for six. Way to move. Guy in his face. Even takes a hit for it for your first touchdown. You gotta love that stuff. And Weidermeyer, who's 6'5", but needed to reach the field. 
Backups on this defensive unit out there now. Miles Ooh. Wanza carries. Ball comes out. Texas a and has it. Scooped up by Charles Oliver. And the Aggies are going to have it at the 30-yard line. Larry Pryor lay in the wood. Boy, you could hear that all the way up here. Woohoo! Perfectly. Boundary safety. Larry Pryor. That's what happens when the reserves get in. They're, they're going to come in and try and make a point. Ball comes out. Calzada put it on the turf. Now, did he just turn it over? Yes, he did. He got hit. Davion May recovers. Yet. Calzada. On the money. Jalen Preston. First down and more. Preston. Plays for meals. Pays for a lot of things that keep these programs up and running. Rashad Paul has been electric on punt return. Here's another opportunity, and it's another big play. Still on his feet inside the 20. And he sidesteps out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Rashad Paul. 106 yards in punt returns tonight for Rashad Paul. Smith. Isaiah Smith. Touchdown. The true freshman. Who has had a brilliant night here, especially in the second half. And Isaiah Smith. Out of Sugarland, Texas, with his first career touchdown. Coaches, coaches circled this number, told us, hey, keep an eye out for him. And sure enough, not the best of throws out there on the perimeter, but it allows him to catch the football, square back up, and then use his athletic ability to make a couple people miss going up against a, a UCF team that's been very, very good, but a game that needed to be won for the Pac-12 Conference to just to gain that garner that respectability that they need because this is their last opportunity you and I are going to be down and I don't know if that concern necessarily dissipated from the performance tonight I will say this they did use their hands better uh, when they did make catches they extended their hands. constant coaching some growing pains at times because of the youth you know you can say that Richardson he's going to take it in for a touchdown for Darian Richardson I think he went in untouched. The sophomore transfer from Central Florida is heard from here late in the fourth quarter. Takes it in from 13 yards out. They got challenged this week by their coaching staff. They probably got challenged at halftime. And I think they came out in the second half defensively, offensively. 